We got the Overwatch cookbook early. So I don't get a lot of cool things for being a cringy YouTuber, but I guess Insider Edition decided I was worthy enough to F up some of their recipe. <laughs> but they not only sent me the cookbook, but they also gave me a bunch of ingredients, some Winston peanut butter, instructions for how to make the Winston peanut butter pudding, but most importantly, a Tracer inspired apron that I am going to wear in this video, but <laughs> Um, the problem with making the, the first recipe that they suggest is that, uh, I, I'm allergic to peanut butter. <laughs> no, I know a lot of people would love to watch me make Winston peanut butter and probably kill myself in the process, but I kind of like doing this thing called breathing. Not living, I'm, I'm not really living, but with the breathing thing, I'm a fan of. But I decided to choose a different recipe that's still gonna cause the whole entire comment section to tell me to kill myself. A Winston inspired pineapple pizza. God, I'm already sweating, I'm only putting on... Apron. There we go. How does it look? Stupid? Good. It has its own little pockets. I don't know if you can tell. Okay, I'm gonna tear that. Let's just get started. So when you open up the cookbook, you see that there's gonna be tons of recipes that I can't show you yet. I'm under embargo, but there's gonna be this Winston-inspired pineapple pizza. The things that you need is water and pineapple. That's literally it. And maybe the pizza part, but how do I make the dough? To make the dough, I gotta mix water, sugar, yeast, oil, and a lot of overwash. That's, that's, that was stupid. Okay, let's, okay, so I got the mixing bowl. Probably shouldn't do that. Probably should have prepared the ingredients before I got these. See, this is a professional cooking show where we get the ingredients right as we're about to pour out. This is a, it's not, I like sugar, it's just kind of, it says we need two and a half teaspoons of active yeast. This is two teaspoons and a fourth, so like, I'm lazy, I don't really care. We need one and a half teaspoons of Overwatch. Yeah, because I'm funny, because I'm the first one that made that joke. I, oh, uh, you know, this is Overwatch, let's just, yeah, that's good enough. I think that's a little bit extra, but it's okay. And just like me on DPS, we have our gold medal flower. That's a lie, I get freaking bronzes just like my rank. Can I open? And then... Oh, I'm so tight right now, dude. I'm gonna get all over my appliances. I probably shouldn't do this here. All right, what? One, two, three, three and a half. I'm like LeBron James. That's gonna get all over my camera. Get out of here. We need three tablespoons of all the tablespoons or teaspoons. God, why do they have to name a tea and table? This isn't this. It, well, this is not a tea, and then this is not a table. It's broken. Wait, is this the teaspoon? No, this is the cup. That's a cup. This is a table. This is a tea. This is why I hate cooking. All right, we need three of these. And then three, and now we gotta add the water. Luckily, I prepared the water because I didn't want to pour that for, okay, anyway. Now you're probably thinking, bro, you act. What are you gonna mix it with? Are you gonna use a whisk? And that's where you're wrong because we don't use whisk in our house because whisks are for p Why do you think cats have whiskers? We use a plastic spoon that we got from Bed Bath & Beyond. And then we just kind of just whip it in play. I feel like this is, wait, did I do the right amount of flour? Oh shoot, it says gradually add the flour until you have dough that isn't too sticky. God dang it. If you don't know what I'm working with, it's this. What the fudge is this, dude? All right, new game plan. Start over. So I wasn't a jabroni this time. I actually just decided to pour the wets with the dries and then add the flour, right? That's what the term, okay, let's have flour. So we gotta add seven of these joints. So that's one. Let's mix it first. How about, the, okay. Oh my God, we're actually getting something that looks like dough that you can spin around. This is fantastic. It's so sticky. Seven, all right. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's looking hot. That's looking hot. You see that? You see that dough? It's like Play-Doh. It's like squeezing a titty. Not that I would know, but... Oh, wait. It says to sprinkle on a, like a table and then knead it. I'm stupid. All right, let's get this out. I am making a mess here. This is how you knead, right? I took a fax class in middle school. I can, I can knead some dough. It's falling apart. Maybe I just gotta get my hands a little wet. Yo. How do grandmas do this, bro? Homies. This is the best time of day. Do you see me sweating? We're gonna put this back in the mixing bowl, Jesus, and let it rise. Oh, okay, so we, God, I hate this. Cover it, there we go. Yep, that, I'm getting it stuck now. Boom, okay. It's not going anywhere, because I don't even, 
think it has any legs. It's, that's stupid, Zach. I'm still tired from these. So we're gonna come back to this in one hour. So now that we got the dough ready, which took a lot longer than I thought, next is, I guess we can get the toppings ready. I mean, what else are we gonna do? I know one thing that we can do. We can cry because I'm a god awful chef. Oh, I know girls love me because I don't know how to freaking make dough. Like, you literally make money dough and actual dough. Gosh dang it, we gotta cook bacon. Okay, hey, let's get the stove ready. I gotta cook three pieces of bacon in this little, this isn't even PUBG, this is over one. See, look, look, this is gonna be fine. We turn that up to medium heat, let it cook. So I don't like vegetables, so I don't really know how to like cut an onion. So like, oh shoot, it actually worked. <laughs> let's just go again. Let's go again. <laughs> okay, let's. No, they come pre-sliced. What? I just kind of like, Cut it like that. Oh my god, this is perfect. This is, I'm, I'm literally god at this. I mean, I'm not surprised because I am a god chef, as, as you can tell by my technique. I think that should be enough peppers. Again, I don't like vegetables. Ah! So what we're gonna do for the bacon, take it into this Sonic the Hedgehog cup. You hear that? You hear that bacon screaming? I am dripping all over my stones. Cut the bake. Oh boy. That looks like a slice. You know what? I don't really like this cutting, so let's just kind of tear it apart. Next up, we'll cook up some bacon. It says half a cup, but like, how the heck do you measure a cup of ham? Like, this isn't a cup. Like, you can't drink ham. I don't know if this is how you measure ham, but it's how I'm measuring ham. That's enough. Just kind of just do one of these. But now the last thing we have to cut it's Spongebob's house. Now, a lot of people are gonna be in my comments saying, why are you eating pineapple pizza? It doesn't belong there. And I agree. Like, you can't have a Winston pineapple pizza without the pineapple. Now, how the heck do I do, do I? Uh, oh my gosh. I'm just kind of like, do that, we'll cut the ends of it off, and then we'll have a, a, a jolly old time. Now, there's gonna be a war in the comments saying, oh, pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. Again, I agree, I, like, I fully agree. I'm not fighting your statement, but the instructions told me so, and if I don't follow the instructions, Jeff Kaplan's gonna come to my house and stuff his pineapple somewhere. I don't want it to be stuffed, and I'm kinda scared about that. Probably should've got a bigger cutting board. <laughs> Put the pineapples right. Cha, and we have all of our toppings. So here's an update on my kitchen. That's a freaking mess, man. This is like the first time I ever cooked in my kitchen and I'm, just, I'm messing it up, man. So off camera, I decided just to cut the rest of the pineapple because again, it's my favorite fruit. My girlfriend likes when I eat it. I don't have a girlfriend, but now we're gonna preheat the oven. We're gonna preheat the oven to 450 degrees. That way, when the pizza's done, it's probably, okay. All right, let's open the casket of our big, Fluffy Doughboy. Uh, hello? Oh, that's a big boy. Once the dough is ready, pre I did that. The lunch, oh, I forgot the parchment paper. Press the dough into a flat disc, roughly 12 inches. See, I would do that if the movies didn't have those Italian pizza makers tossing their pizzas, so I gotta try that. I don't know the right technique, but don't you like use it in a fit? This is so stupid, I'm not doing it right. What's even the difference between hand tossed and like, regular spread out pizza. Like it's still the same dough, one just has wings. I'm just surprised, S shut up. So we just spread this. I used to date someone that made pizzas and I never asked her once to make a pizza with me. Man, how I miss her, not only because I suck at making pizza, just because I miss her, man. So the book says to make your crust a little bit thicker and trust me, I like thick crust. I like my crust like I like my women, available and present in my life. Okay, I think that's the best we're gonna get. It's a little bit uneven, like in some air, but we got the thick crust, and now it's time. We're gonna take half a cup of pizza sauce, and you just kinda do one of these, like the Pizza Hut logo. But now comes the important part, the cheese. We're gonna add a cup and a half of cheese, maybe. Oh, I'm spilling everywhere. Take the cheese, right? This is important, you take the cheese, you get it ready, and you just sprinkle it all over without looking at the cheese. Just look at your masterpiece that you're creating. Yes. Yeah, this is actually taking way too long, man. Yeah, technique, technique. Oh, this is looking beautiful. Let's add just, 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 just a pinch more cheese. I don't know why I did it like that. That's a little bit cringy. All right, we got our sauce, we got our cheese. Now it's time <laughs> to ruin this pizza because this is fun how it is. 
But we need to follow the recipe with the pineapple. Okay, let's just just kind of sprinkle it ever so slightly. Then we get my favorite part, the bacon. Then we put the bell peppers. And then I I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I do not like this. Boys, get a close up of this. This pizza looks so extra, man. I only get pepperoni. This is my first time I'm having a pineapple Winston Hawaiian pizza. Let's put it in the oven. Oh my God, it's so hot. And not because I'm in here. I'm not hot. I'm annoying. 15 minutes in the oven. Oh, that's a big cross. Well, there we go, game of boards and e-girls everywhere. That is the Winston pineapple pizza. Now the only thing left to do is cry. And, and I, I, I guess, I guess. You know when a pizza's cash money based on how it cuts. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is a thick. When I said I like my pizza thick, I didn't know I was gonna make a plus size baby girl. God damn. I love all types of bodies. As long as you love yourself, I can only love you even more. God dang, all this pizza's thick. Cut, 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 cut. Oh my God. Look at this. Look at this baby girl, oh my god! You got some pineapple, some bacon, the hams, oh, oh the cheese, oh, but most importantly, look at that, look at the thickness on this! Oh, this thing weighs like five pounds, but let's try it. <laughs> Whoa! It's good! But my god, is it doughy! I can't taste the pineapples, the bacon, the ham, I only taste dough! Oh my god, it's just bread! Now, I think this is a sin when people do this, but let's just bite into the crust also. <laughs> oh my god, it's a bread! So what did we learn today? That bread you at can't cook? Is super, super lonely and loves thick girls. But let me know if you enjoyed this video. And if you didn't, I'll go back to sucking in Overwatch. I suck at cooking and suck at, I just suck in general. But anyway, guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Inside Editions, for sending me the Overwatch cookbook early. More recipes to come if you like it. And uh, yeah, I, I got all this pizza, man. I gotta edit this. I love you guys, and bye.